Now we're back at the New Orleans Saints training camp report with safety Marcus Williams. And Marcus, now I'm reluctant to call anybody a liar. You listed at 192 in the program. You look a lot sturdier than that. <laughs> and a good sturdy. Are you heavier than that? And, and, and what was the process with that? Man, I've been 210 for the last three years. <laughs> I'm just saying. That program wrong. It's been wrong for the last two years. I'm 210. Um, I mean, I, I love the weight that I'm at. I just, I mean, I still fly around and everything. I've never been 192, never, <laughs> since I've been here. I've always been 202 to 210, so uh, they need to change that. All right, change it, change it, change, change it. it. <laughs> now, um, with your job as, as a free safety and you're a guy who's around the ball a lot, is that instinctual for you? Because I know you play some receiver in high school, but your ball skills seem to be you know, on a fairly high level. Is that pretty instinctual for you? Right, it's pretty ins instinctual for me, but it's also being around the ball, it's all about film study, all about knowing where guys are at, where they're lined up, kind of put me in better position, especially uh, with the plays that are called, I can put myself in better position knowing, knowing where I'm supposed to be at, and knowing where my range is, depending on where I'm at on the field. You know, can you chart your growth process as a Saint? You were a day one starter as a rookie. Here you are several years later, five years in. And can you just chart your growth? A lot of mental growth. Uh, just just coming in as a rookie, you 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 know you have to you have to catch up fast. You have to catch up to the guys who are already there. So as a rookie, I was spending a lot of time in the field room, and it just carries over year by year. You start knowing, start knowing more, especially being on the field. You you get more reps. The more reps you get, you know, the better you are. So I get the more reps that I got. It just put me in better position to make plays. I, I pride myself on making plays each each year, and I just continue to get better, watching film and coming out on the field and trying new things to see where where I can get to. Just just, just so that I'm better each and every every year. But I just continue to ask questions, ask my peers questions, ask even the quarterbacks questions to see what I'm doing that they're picking up on so I can get better at that when I go out on the field against opponents. You've led this team in interceptions since you got here. Okay, what's better, the pick or the big hit? I'm, I like taking the ball away, <laughs> man. I, I'm, I'm, I'm going to get the ball. If, if the ball's in the air, that's what I want to do. Uh, I'm going to make a big hit, but – it's all about getting the ball back to our offense in, in all reality. It's, it's all about the ball in this game. And if I get a big hit and he fumbles, and I'm happy, but I'd rather get a, a pick over a hit. You know, how big of an emphasis is that this year? Because we've heard Cam Jordan, I think some other defenders say, you know what, we want to make sure we increase the takeaways this year. Takeaways, takeaways change the game. You know, the the more takeaways you get, could change the could change the game. So we, we pride ourselves on getting takeaways. You know, the last last few years we we take the ball away. So it, we just continue to to pride ourselves on that and continue to do it, work it in practice, so it transfers to the game. You know, how good can this defense be? We've seen stretches over the last three four years where you guys have had you know four five six seven games where you pretty much carried this team, uh, did everything you wanted to do defensively. How good can this defense be? We could be really good. We just have to take it day by day and just continue to get better, continue to watch film and continue to grow together. Um, the more we are around each other, the more we, you know, build that camaraderie, is the better off we'll be. How much are you mentoring the young guys? Because you're, you're now one of the vets back there, mm -hmm. especially in this system. It's funny because I'm 24 and they're <laughs> almost the same age as me, but I, I, I think I have a lot of knowledge coming in being here for this is my fifth year uh, I'm, I'm able to mentor them and give them any any tips and tricks that I know and just just be there for them because they're, they're just here and uh, when I came in I had I mean I had Von Bell so he, he you know he kind of mentored me a little bit so now I can mentor them give it back to them okay now are you giving these guys a hard time when they drop a pick in practice of course that's that's not your thing you you come up with the ball right uh, I'm giving everybody a hard time it doesn't matter if it's, if it's Malcolm Jenkins uh, to Marshawn we, we all we all take care of each other we all you know hold each other accountable that's that's why we that's why we can continue to get better okay now I got to get to the real stuff how many do rags how many I probably got 25 do rags I don't know trade them in trade them out throw some away how do you choose which one you're gonna wear man I just go in the cabinet and grab one that's how I get them you don't just say you know what I want to match up today I feel I feel some, sometimes I color coordinate but most of the time I just <laughs> grab one depending on you know what what day it is all right, folks, that's Marcus Williams, a different do-rag for a different day. I'm John DeShazer for the Saints Training Camp Report here on CST, and we'll be back in a moment.